Hello, everybody. Let's sing my hello song. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to you. Or maybe it's afternoon or evening. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. I have my friend Lucky here today, and it's a very special day. We're going to be celebrating Halloween. Oh, what? Yeah, we are. Do you like Halloween? He, he's not sure. He doesn't know what Halloween is. Do, do, should doggies eat candy? No, they shouldn't eat candy, especially chocolate. That will make them sick. You don't want to eat candy, but we'll give you some special doggy treats, okay? Okay. We'll see you in a little bit. Maybe you'll go trick-or-treating with us. I love you, doggy. Be good boy. Okay, boys and girls, my goodness, this month has flown by. This is the month, the last week of October. I cannot believe it. October has 31 days, and the very last day of, of October is Halloween. It's number 31. So you're going to need a really big breath for this one because we are going to count all the way up to 31. Look at all these numbers. You ready? Big breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty, three, twenty, four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 31 is the last number in the month of October. So if we're going to, well, let's talk about, how about Monday number 26. So it's Monday, October the 26th, 2020, the day before Monday. Let's see if we can figure it out. Let's sing our Days of the Week song. Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Good job. So if we said today is Monday, October 26th, what day came before Monday? Do you remember what we said? What came first? There's Sunday. You got it. So we have Sunday, Monday. What would come next? Tuesday. Very good. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. This is today, this is yesterday, and this is tomorrow. Good job. We'll straighten out those numbers a little bit. Okay, what's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather for today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Can we go outside to play? Well, I'm going to put this one right here because when I got up this morning, it was very, very windy and it was blowing everything around. And so it was a windy day. God sent some, some wind from out in the uh, sky. But you know what? Even though it's windy, we still can wear the same clothes that we go. We just have to make sure we dress a little bit warmer. So, especially as we get to the end of October. So let's Put some pants on, Weather Bear. Oops, pull your pants up, Weather Bear. Good job. And our jacket, it's getting chilly. He probably has to have a sweater on underneath there too. And long sleeves like Mrs. Steinmetz has. Maybe a sweatshirt like I have because it's really getting to be chilly outside. We'll put the sunglasses on because even though it's windy, it's still sunny out. I'll put his baseball hat on, but you know what? The wind's gonna blow it right off because it's too windy today. Let's get those sneakers on so he's ready to run and play. 
one on his left foot and one on his right foot. And then guess what I have? He's going to be ready for trick or treating. So he's going to put a costume on. Do you know what Weather Bear is dressed up like? He's a ghost. He's, is he scary ghost? No. He's got two eyes and a mouth that says boo, but it's still Weather Bear underneath. He's just being a friendly ghost. Well, you know what, boys and girls? We're not going to do numbers and letters today. We're just going to have some fun. And the first thing I want to do is we want to talk about some shapes. I have some videos that are linked on to this um, video that we sent home. And I hopefully you'll be, you've been doing some of those with mom. So the first one that I have is a jack-o'-lantern shape. And we're going to make a face for him with some different shapes. So let's take a look at that shape. Do you know what that is? That's a circle. We could put the circle. Let's turn this this way. I think it'll go better. We could put the circle down where his mouth is so he can be like a go the ghost and say, boo. We can see what else. How about this shape? Do you know what this shape is? It's a triangle. It has three sides. One, two, three. What do you think? Shall we have two triangles to make his eyes? One, two. Our next shape that we have is a square. A square has all the sides the same. No matter how I turn it, all the sides are the same. How about if we give him a square nose? too silly. All right, I'm going to take my circle down and a shape that is something like a square. It's called a rectangle. Rectangles have two long sides, one at the top, one at the bottom, or they can be this way, side and side. And they have two short sides. This is a shorter than that and this one. So how about if we make a rectangle mouth? Boy, he's got a really big mouth, doesn't he? That doesn't look much like a, a jack-o'-lantern. Let's put a regular mouth. This is a tricky one. This is something you might see, the shape, up in the sky at night. Do you know what that is? That's called a crescent or a moon. But we're going to turn it this way. What's that look like? A nice smile. So we're going to put the smile on the jack-o'-lantern. Do you like his square nose? We could always switch that around and make it one more. This is a circle that looks like an egg. It's not quite the same. Look, see, it's not the same. This one is called an oval. It's like an egg or an oval. Let's make him have an oval nose. So we made a jack-o'-lantern that looks like this. You could make a jack-o'-lantern very similar to this. I want to show you how you could do something. You can take a piece of paper and you can draw a big oval like that. And then the fun part about this one is I love, instead of cut with scissors, I take some paper and I rip it. And there's a, there's a trick to ripping. You just don't want to oh, pull it this way. It won't work. You have to have one hand go that way and one hand go this way. So watch my fingers. See how they went the different ways? So you rip lots of pieces of orange and you put fill up all of your pumpkin and then see if you can cut some shapes, squares, circles, triangles, rectangles, moons, ovals, and you make your own jack-o'-lantern just the way you want it. And it can be this way or this way, whatever you make, it'll, it's your pumpkin, your jack-o'-lantern. That's what makes a pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern by giving it a really special, special face. I have another little story, <clears throat> excuse me, that I want, oh, goodness, Frank, take a little drink. I think I got a frog in my throat. Okay, I took a piece of paper 
And it's, what color is this? This is our color today. This is orange. See my orange shirt and my orange jack-o'-lantern back here? I'm taking it, I'm folding it in half, and I'm gonna tell you a little story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a little cat and a little mouse, and they needed a house to live in, <clears throat> but they didn't want a rectangle house. They wanted a house that was kind of round on the top. <clears throat> Let's see if this is good. Oh, that's a good house. But then they didn't have a door to get in. Remember, we had a cat and a mouse. So <clears throat> the cat said, I need a, d a door that when my tail sticks up, my tail can get in. And so I cut it like this. The mouse said, well, that, that's too big for me. I don't like that door. I just need a little door. But I also need <clears throat> a little bit of top so that when I stick my tail up, because the mouse has tails, <clears throat> it, I can get in too. Well, the cat and the mouse went into the house and they said, we, be, we need a window. There's no windows in this house. Well, what shape shall we make it? We could make it a square. We could make it what you said that I, I hear you windows are usually squares or rectangles. Okay, I can make a square or a rectangle. Let's see how I can do that. Ooh, my scissors aren't pointy enough. Here we go. Snip, snip. You might have to have mommy do this if she's telling this story. This is a good one. Okay, got a little piece here. Where's the square? Let's trim that off. I'll trim that, no problem. Okay, so now they can see out. But when they got inside, you know what? It turned magic. When they opened it up, it turned into a jack-o'-lantern. How about that? Isn't that special? So it went from our little house to go in to a jack-o'-lantern. I love jack-o'-lanterns at Halloween, in fact. I brought something very, very special. Let's move it up my pieces a little bit. I bought, brought a real pumpkin here today. Pumpkins grow outside and they grow on a vine along the ground. If they grew up on a tree, like an apple, that, that tree branch couldn't hold on to it. It's too heavy. And you know what? People eat pumpkins. I love to make pumpkin bread. I'll try to make some when it gets close to, the, to Thanksgiving. Well, this is a pumpkin. How do we turn a pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern? You need a grown-up and you need some special tools. First of all, the pumpkin is orange, but there are other pumpkins that are green or white. And you take a knife and you go all the way around until the top comes off and this is what it looks like inside a pumpkin and if you were going to eat this you could take this yellowish part and and you take scoop it out and you cook it and it's almost like a sweet potato it's very good so we've got that and then inside is something that's really disgusting and i saved some of that when i did it look at this stuff Oh my goodness, I love to feel it. So that's why I put it in the bag. I squish it and it was all inside that, inside of it, it's hollow. And the little white part, these, these white things are called seeds. There's lots of seeds in there, lots. I think one, one time I counted 200 seeds in my pumpkin when I cut it apart. And I can put those on a paper towel and I can dry them because right now they're gooey in here. They still have some of this gooey stuff on it. I can dry them and then in the springtime, I can plant them in some dirt and I can have my own pumpkin. But you know what? My pumpkin still isn't a jack-o'-lantern. I'm good as I pop out his eyes and his nose and his mouth. I'm going to sing a little song that goes like this. 
Let's make a jack, jack, jack o lantern. I'll show you how, how, how it's done. You simply scoop out a little yellow pumpkin and cut a pumpkin face for fun. His nose won't come out. Oh my goodness, come on. Come on, his nose won't come out. Let's try his mouth. We'll get his mouth to come out. There's his mouth. And let's get the other part of his mouth. Mouth, come on mouth, come on mouth, come on, it's coming. Okay, now let's see if I can get warm. Oh, <laughs> oh no, we cut out part of the pumpkin. <laughs> we'll put his, to his teeth, I think he needs dental work here, people. Um, <laughs> well, there's our, and then inside we'll put, put, put a candle to make a shine, shine, shining light. He'll make a fine jack-o'-lantern for our window to grin at people in the night. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I knocked his teeth out. Just like when you get bigger and you lose your teeth. I wonder if I can put them under my pillow and the tooth fairy will come. So there's our jack-o'-lantern. Jack-o'-lantern's really fun and I hope that when you have a jack, if you make a jack-o'-lantern at your house, that you'll put it out so people can see it when they come trick-or-treating. Ah, oh, his teeth fell out again. It's okay, I'll turn him this way. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a, that's a first. Anyway, <laughs> we got that. Let me share a storybook that I have here for you. It's called Corduroy's Best Halloween Ever by Don Freeman. Corduroy, oh, Corduroy, where he is? It's this little guy here, can you guess? He's a bear, yeah, he's a bear. It was almost Halloween and Corduroy and his friends were getting ready. They went to pick out a pumpkin for Corduroy's Halloween party. Look at all those pumpkins. There was so much to do before the party. Corduroy raked the leaves, rabbit, puppy, and mouse tried to help, but jumping in the leaf piles was so much more fun. I'm sure you do that with your mommies and daddies when they're raking the leaves too. Corduroy and his friends helped Mrs. Pig decorate her store windows. She thanked them with hot, delicious pumpkin pie. Mm. And look how they decorated their windows with scarecrows and skeletons and ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns, what fun. Back at Corduroy's house, they all started talking about their costumes for Halloween. I'm going to be a, a pumpkin, said Mouse, and I'm going to be a lion, said Rabbit. The king of the jungle. My costume is secret, said the puppy. It's really great. I want you to be surprised. Corduroy was worried. He didn't have an idea for a costume. What would he wear for Halloween? Later, when Corduroy was shopping for his party, he spotted a whole bunch of costumes and finding a costume would be easy with all these choices. Corduroy tried on the lion costume. Roar! He looked ferocious. But then he remembered that Rabbit was going to be a lion. Then he saw a pumpkin costume. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, no, Mouse was going to be a pumpkin. I then Corduroy said, oh, I see a pointy hat. I think I'll be a, a, a what, a witch. But his friend Dolly wanted to be a witch. Then he saw the perfect thing, a dinosaur mask. Wow, that'll be great. I can make the mask. So he went home and he got his costume. He found an old pair of green pajamas. He cut and he glued and he sewed and he made the best dinosaur costume ever. And Halloween night finally came. Corduroy was so excited. Ding dong, the doorbell rang. Who could it be? The party wasn't supposed to start for another hour. Puppy walked in. Corduroy had the best costume and it fell apart, he said. Now what am I gonna do? Corduroy thought he loved his costume. Oh, puppy was so sad. 
Corduroy knew that he was his friend and costumes are important. It's okay, pup, pup, puppy. You can wear my costume. Really, said Puppy. But Corduroy, what are you going to wear? Oh, don't worry about it, said Corduroy. Corduroy thought and thought and thought and thought. It was a really fun pop party. They bobbed for apples. That means they had a bucket of apples with water in it and had to stick their heads in in order to, and with no hands, and get a, a, an apple with their teeth. They danced the monster mash, and then it was almost time for trick-or-treating, but Corduroy didn't have a costume. Oh no. Suddenly he realized, I have an idea. He took everything off the table for treats, and he started cutting holes in the tablecloth. Luckily, it was just a plastic tablecloth and not one of Mommy's good ones. And what did he turn into? A ghost! just like our weather bear. Look at how all of his friends were dressed. He said he had the best costume and the best time. And the best thing was he had shared his costume with Puppy. We have a, print, a little angel and a ghost. And Corduroy felt so proud because he had shared his costume and made his friends happy. And it was the best Halloween ever. And they're carefully looking at their candy. That's an important thing we're going to talk about, Halloween safety. Okay. I have uh, a little, I have a, a story, but I'm going to read another story, but this one's really easy. You know, I'm not even going to read the story. I'm just going to say the, the poem, The Five Little Pumpkins. I, I can say it with this. I'll do it the first. Okay. We're going to read the story first, and then I'll show it on my finger. Five little pumpkins were sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. But who went the wind and out went the light and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Oh my goodness. You can do that with fingers too. What I'm going to do um, <laughs> is I'm going to, well, first of all, I'm, I have five little pumpkins a couple of different ways. So you can say it with me again if you want. The lights won't go out this time though. So I have the gate, and how many pumpkins were there? Five. So we're gonna put them on the gate as I say it. You ready? Five little pumpkins were sitting on the gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun, but ooh, went the wind and out went the light. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. I'm sending home this paper for you, and it has the poem on it. And there's a couple ways that if you'd like, you could get stickers like I do, and you can put your stickers on your fence or I'm also sending this home with you and you can color your own jack-o'-lanterns your pumpkins and you can glue them on the on your gate so lots of fun ways to do five little pumpkins remember our color this this day, week is orange so here's some orange things there's an orange and a jack-o'-lantern and a goldfish and a carrot maybe you can add some more gold things, uh, gold things, some orange things. The best part of a party is the food. And so I brought some extra special treats to show you today. And some of these things you can make, whoops, when you are at home. The first thing I have is ghost toast. And what I did was I took a piece of bread like this, 
and I cut a ghost shape out of tin foil. Mommy probably would have to do this for you. See my little ghost? And I put it on the bread like that. I buttered around the outside. I sprinkled it with cinnamon sugar. And then I put it in the oven. It's very easy. However you want to toast in it, put toast in the oven. And this is the way it turned out. I'll show it to you when I took the piece of paper off. <gasps> I had a ghost on my toast. They rhyme. So we start our meal with some ghost toast. Then, of course, I have to have a nutritious snack. Do you know what this is? It's an orange. And you don't, do you eat the skin on the orange? I don't think so. No, you don't want to eat that. So I'm going to take a marker. And do you remember how we made a jack-o'-lantern? I'm going to give it two eyes. There's my little eyes. And I'm going to give it a, a nose. And I'm going to, I'm not going to put teeth in this one, but I'm going to give him a nice smile. So here's my little bitty jack-o'-lantern. And I'm going to give him, a, a, see what this is? That's called the stem. I'm going to have a grape up here for his stem. So I have a little jack-o'-lantern just like this. Then what do I want to have after that? Oh, I need to have some goodies, some treats. Oh, no, 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 no. I need, not treats, it's not dessert time yet. This is one of my favorites. I took a hot dog and I got some biscuits and I, and I cut the biscuits into strips and I wrapped them around. I put a piece of cheese on the back and I wrapped them and wrapped them and wrapped them and I cooked it. Do you know what this is? Let me find my picture. Can you guess what this is? It's a mummy. That's my picture. My, oh, goodness. We'll move our, we'll move our jack-o'-lantern. This is a mummy. You can do this at home. Wrap your mommy and your daddy up in toilet paper, and you can make a mummy like that. Or you can make a mummy and take a bite. This doesn't taste very good because it's cold, but if I heated it up in the oven. So I ha let's see if you can count. How many mummies do I have? One. Each one is different. Two, three. I have three mummies. Oh, I'm going to have a snack when I'm all done here. And they, the directions said you can put eyes on it like olives, if you like olives, or uh, raisins, or just eat it this way. It's really good. And then we'll finish up our Halloween snack lunch time with one more thing. We're going to have some dessert. So I took, I took a cookie, what this is a fudge stripe cookie on this side, but on the other side, it's all chocolate. I took some icing like this and I, any color icing doesn't make any difference. And I squeezed it out onto one of these. You know what that is? That's a, that's a candy kiss. And I stuck it on top of the cookie to make a witch's hat. So I had a really good lunch. I had ghost toast and hot dogs and biscuits, and I had an orange, and I had a treat at the end. So I hope you have a good time with your treats. I'd like to sing a little song, and then remember, we're not doing numbers or letters this time. We're just having a great time with our party. So let me get some pictures here. I'm gonna sing a song for you. It's called A Goblin in the Dark. A Goblin in the Dark. A goblin in the dark. Hi ho, a Halloween, a goblin in the dark. The goblin calls a bat. The bat goblin calls a bat. Hi ho, a Halloween, the goblin calls the bat. The bat calls the ghost. The bat calls the ghost. Hi ho, a Halloween, the bat calls the ghost. The ghost calls the calls the goblin. The ghost calls the goblin. Hi ho, a Halloween, the ghost calls the goblin. They all scream and screech. Ah! They all scream and screech. Ah! Hi ho, a Halloween, they all scream and screech. Have fun when you go out Halloween. Make sure that you are safe 
and I sent, I'm gonna send this safety paper along to mommies. Make sure that if you're wearing a ghost costume, it's not too long and you don't trip. Make sure that you have a flashlight. Remember, try not to walk in the streets and go with an adult. And if you get a whole big bag of goodies, make sure that you look, mommy looks at the candy first. You wanna make sure that um, it's safe to eat. And if you ever get a piece of candy that's not wrapped up, put it in the trash can. We're not gonna eat anything that's open. And when you get to your house and you're all done, you might wanna play a Halloween game. So what I did, I have two games here. And the first thing game I have are water bottles and I made ghosts. This is called ghost bowling. So I put the tissues on the top, put little rubber bands around the top, made little face faces. I made 10 or 10 of these. So if any of you've ever been bowling before, you set them up and put them in a row or do whatever you want to do with it. And then you get a ball or a little pumpkin like I did, and you throw it and knock them all down. That's ghost bowling. The other thing you can do if you have a little pumpkin is you, there's a game called hot potato and you pass it around until the music stops and then you're it and then you pass it around. I'm gonna put some Halloween music on. You'll recognize this. mine. So you sit with mommies and daddies and your brothers and sisters and pass it around and you can play. Instead of playing hot potato, you're playing pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern. So they are just some fun things. I hope, boys and girls, that you have a wonderful and safe Halloween no matter what you do this year. It's been a crazy year and it doesn't make any difference. You can celebrate however you want. If you have a costume, I would love for your mommy to take a picture of you and send it to me because you are just so special and I miss you so much. So um, if you can do that, that would be great. Please, please, please be safe. Okay, let's get lucky out here. And we, you know what? Let's sing happy Halloween to them, everybody. Can we do that? Instead of singing happy birthday, we'll sing happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to you. Happy Halloween to you. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween to you. Happy Halloween, everybody. Have fun. See you next week.